These Congolese soldiers are having a good day. Their enemy, the M23 rebels, have withdrawn from their positions outside the city of Goma. This man says, Congo belongs to us. We'll fight M23 until they're defeated. And these men say they'll send the rebels to neighboring Rwanda. They believe the rebels are backed by Rwanda, although Rwanda denies it. The advance follows heavy fighting over the last nine days. The UN has been fighting alongside the government. These troops are moving forward towards the new front line north of the city of Goma. The ones we've spoken to, they're in a jubilant mood with UN support. They say they've had a victory over the M23 rebels. Congo says the rebels suffered heavy losses and now they're moving forward about 10 kilometers. Towards the new front line, they fire a tank. But there's no rebels here. They're firing as a show of might. They show us combat fatigues that they say are from the Rwandan army. The UN says it has consistent and credible evidence that Rwandan troops have entered Congo and fought alongside the rebels. Again, Rwanda denies it. Nearby, this hilltop was a rebel stronghold. This telecoms mast was destroyed in the shelling. At the bottom of the hill, there's the body of a man shot dead. His arms are tied. He looks like a prisoner who was executed. Both sides say the other is responsible. M23 claim it pulled back to make way for independent observers, but everything here suggests there was a lot of heavy fighting. We cannot stop fighting because they are fighting us too. We also have to retaliate. They need to lay down their weapons and surrender. Only then we will stop fighting. Congo's soldiers continue their advance. The rebels are somewhere ahead. These men have made some gains, but their fight may not be over yet. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, near Goma, in the Democratic Republic of Congo.